Ready for practice? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's going to be a light day today, so hopefully you don't uh, just stay away from injuries, but we got to get to work. In. You know, as a coach, you know, you want to continue to grow, and being here and watching these great athletes, I, I, I grow every every practice, every practice just watching. So I'm blessed to be here, man. How does it get any better than being out on the dirt with the kids? That's what we all live for. Got to love it. Especially on a beautiful day like today, after yesterday and the day before. Woo! Three apps and fi firecrackers, friends, fun. fun, and family, and fundamentals. <laughs> Fundy! The five apps. Directions. <laughs> I've been on firecrackers my whole travel ball life and been on Tony's team for two years. Well, when I'm not doing softball, I love going to the beach. I live in Huntington Beach, so going there with my friends is just a favorite thing to do. And it's fun not just Huntington, just going to other beaches too with my friends, just driving around. Yeah. I think it's fun. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited. It's always a good time. Yeah, I've been so busy with high school and stuff, and it's like the same thing every day, so it's like so much fun getting back here and seeing all the girls and practicing. So we're back to school and we're right in the middle of our league right now, so we're doing pretty well. I think we're 10 and 1. Every day practice after school for like two and a half hours, so yeah. it's a grind. Do you like to be back with the firecrackers though? Oh yeah, 100%, yeah. I think they just represent like a really tight community of like really talented athletes and it's just kind of, it's like a second family, you know, we all just get out here and get away from all our other high school and stuff like that and just kind of come together and kick some butt on the field. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Personally, before a big game, like before the game, like I literally like mentally prepare. I'm like, okay, so Kennedy, you're gonna like calm down at the at bat. You're gonna take it slow. Like you're gonna slow it down because, like Tony always says, he's like the game goes to your speed, and if you make it your speed, it can go slow or you can make it go really fast. Especially like when I catch. And so just being there and like just being in my own head and making myself calm makes all my pressure go away on my chest. And like when I go up to bat, I take it really slow. So like just. Take the softball aspect out of it, just having fun with my friends on the field, because then if you're having fun, then everything runs good and runs smoothly. Getting these guys laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lucas. <laughs> what do you think of these guys? Think Great, already, good. even the warm up, killing it. Just look stud <laughs> all the time. <laughs> The your firecracker team could beat them, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they're good, but they're not that good. Yeah. They'll get there. They they'll got get, it. They'll get, they'll get to your level at some point. Lucas, <laughs> okay, so pick a hand. What hand? Your right. Lucas, look. <laughs> you have a mouth guard? <laughs> <laughs> Do you so always hurt now? Funny right. story, Lee. I got Shh. hit in the tooth. So each of you are going to walk in for four pitches and pay attention to your setups. All right, try to uh, watch an on-demand college game, a YouTube, or something, if your dad has the ESPN app, and watch what the better hitters at the better programs are doing. I believe it falls right in line with, even though you don't see exactly what we talk about with just the heel, it sets you up nice because then if we're working our heel from here that I know works with our offense, well, the next thing you know is if you get in a program that they're doing this, you're all ready to go. But it's the same, boom, take your hat. At a good pitch. Does that make sense? Okay. So go ahead and grab your bats. We're going to swing a little bit here and find your tempo. I think the last time that we were shooting out here was the final vlog for last season's team, right? So it just feels great to be back out here. We've got a few kids that are returning. We've got a few new players. The weather's great right now, Lucas. I mean, I just think we always appreciate any time we can get back out on the field. And for me, honestly, it's not about working these kids too hard right now. It's about bringing back good vibes, getting their minds in the right place, and letting them finish their high school seasons on a good note, and then come right back and get into business as soon as we start summer season, I believe, in mid-June. Emily's got the, look at Emily's circles. All right, that's good. Okay, resting. I fell in love with the mindset, everything about it. I joined the team this season. Um, this is my first year, I'm loving it. It's different, but it's something to get used to and I'm excited to see what happens. I've seen games, I've played against them. I was about those two before and so I've always played against five trackers and they were the number one team to beat 
and it's just the girls, the way they play, they give it their all, and I loved it. In the end, you're going to tell me. <laughs> so right now, we're combining a couple of different things. We're allowing our catchers to work on a new technique that's kind of been seen in baseball and since you're seeing it more and more in college softball. And our hitters are working on their personal rhythms, just basically setting up to the plate. How are they moving before the pitch? How are they moving as the pitch is delivered? But they're not taking any swings, so they don't have to worry about how they're hitting the ball. And then lastly, our pitchers are working on just locating their off-speed pitches. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can show it in the one not to do it. Um, for me, I'm working on timing and also getting my heel up back. When Kylie's starting, she puts her hand in her glove and kind of her momentum goes back. That's when I load. And um, I noticed that the past couple of games for my high school team, I haven't been doing that, so my timing's been off. But when I'm working in the workshop with Tony, it really helps, and I know that like I see the difference when I'm on the field. How does that help you in the actual game? I feel like I'm calm, and I see the ball a lot better, and um, I'm able to execute. <laughs> Framework that we're either winning 13 to 1 or that pitcher's got limited time in the game. Does that make sense? Did I, yeah? Did I answer your question? Yeah. It almost seemed like you didn't like the answer though. Was there an answer you preferred or? No. Okay, Diamond. <laughs> You guys know what, what Tony's doing right now? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these gloves. What? I'm just not concentrating. So I decided to go out there and just have a discussion with them about expectations. And then Coach Holly came in with just some perfect psychological advice about addressing emotions, what emotions are, their perceptions, and then what do we do with those perceptions once they're taking place? We compartmentalize, we move them over, and then we figure out can we go on with the day? And today, again, there was nothing wrong. So everyone is fine going on. There was nothing going on, no tragedies. But we want to make sure that they always understand that if there is something going on in their lives that's going to keep them from feeling like they can go on, that they need to address it and they need to be able to talk about it so they can get themselves back in perspective. So practice isn't always, uh, doesn't always go as planned. We don't always plan a 20 minute talk out in the grass, but I felt like today we needed to kind of check in a little bit. And then, uh, well, I guess stay tuned. If you see more smiles where they're hitting balls right now and they're taking some swings, then we probably got them engaged a little bit more. But if anything, we learned a little bit today.
doing? Hitting groups. Yeah. either refueling you, right, or maybe helping you correct the course. So hopefully if there's any adjustments that you need to make behaviorally, uh, mentally, um, as far as your game goes, so physically, uh, that you can make some adjustments to kind of get your game back on track, right? So remember, most of the time when things aren't going right out on the field, it's because there's too much going on in your mind and there's too many people trying to help you and there's just too many things you're trying to do. And so the one thing you need to do is just be able to simplify it. Right, so that's usually the benefit of the practice, okay? But as far as what, where your opinion counts, what'd you like about practice today? Focus on like the little things like timing that like are really important. Excellent, it's big, big into your performance hitting, definitely. Learning how to get used to new things. Getting used to new things? What was the challenge today? The one knee down catching. Mm -hmm. Just so. Fun environment. Fun environment? Yeah. What makes it fun? Just, yeah. Competition, everybody just having, you know, being light, you know, just messing around with each other, but still, you know, going at it. I think the music helps? Yeah. Yeah. So if you think about it, you know, we don't, we don't, overstress things, but the little things that we talk about, they all make a difference, right? So when we're talking about location management, we're talking about even when a pitcher throws the ball and doesn't like the way she threw it, the way she walks back, the way she walks back, every single thing that you do has to represent what's across your chest. So if you don't win a ball game, you don't get a hit, uh, things don't go that your way in the circle, what was happening pitch to pitch, right? What was the story? All right, so we love you a lot. We care about you. Really, really good job today. Just have a great week, and then we'll see you at next practice. All right, sound good? All right, good job. Let's get out of here. practice and it doesn't feel like a job. Everybody's all so scared about that. They're like, oh my god, does it feel like a job? And I'm like, no, it's so good to be like playing softball. Like I'm so excited to be out here all the time and being with my friends and like I know that coming to practice, like everybody's gonna be here all the time and it's just gonna be like a good solid practice.